So, uh, about last week, this is November 2017, uh, I think it was the 10th, I was poking around in my engine, I decided to check the cam timing on here, discovered it's a handful of degrees late, uh, well I've got the timing pointer on the flywheel, so I don't know exactly how many degrees, but it definitely is late, um, I did it using the, uh, you know, two line method uh, and then dividing that in half on the crank pulley and it and you could tell it was slightly off but uh, I lined up the uh, exhaust peak mark on the flywheel with the pointer and uh, with the indicator on the number one exhaust valve it didn't reach peak until after I turned it past that the exhaust peak point so it is definitely delayed so what I don't know what if I'm I'm, no, I'm not sure what I'm going to do if I can talk today. Um, I might either take the the current chain off and replace it with the, excuse me the chain from my spare engine which has quite a few less miles on it, or what I'd prefer to do is reuse the chain that's still in the engine because it's still got life left in it, and uh, just adjust the uh, timing the uh, chain wheel on the cam using the offset splines to uh, get it back in time. Now I haven't decided which I'm going to do yet but first of all I might as well blow it all apart. I'm going to have to take off the front cover so I need to drain the cooling system and while I'm doing that since it's almost winter I'm going to swap over to the uh, 82 degree thermostat. So that's what's on the agenda now. I'm going to take the spare wheel off flip open the bonnet all the way and get cracking on it. Got the radiator out. I'm thinking about taking out the front grill so I can clean it up and maybe give a couple coats of black paint to help protect it. Not sure because I don't have a whole lot of time. Today is one of the last dry days in the foreseeable future. I'm just going to stick it back on. If it leaks I can fix it again. But yeah, 72 degree thermostat is out and uh, Rather crusty, 82 degrees, pop it right back in. Alright, so got the front cover off finally. Uh, I missed a stud that was on the water pump. Uh, one of the nuts that holds the water pump on was actually on a stud that was holding the thing together and actually, well, the stud pulled out, it was one down here. But yeah, I was fighting with that a lot earlier. That took like way too long to figure out. At least the gasket came off in one piece. I'm glad I don't have to make a new one. I also discovered why my engine was leaking a lot of oil. Um, turns out there's a. Uh, turns out the gasket got pushed up on on there and folded inside. I might just fix that by running a bead of silicone down there when I reassemble it. I don't know if I can get that gasket to lay flat, and I don't have another one, or, nor the time to drop the pan and do that. So I probably should change the uh, oil. It's pretty getting pretty crusty, and I might have gotten some coolant in there. So now that that's off, I've got my dial indicator set up on the number one exhaust valve here, and I've got it set up on the uh, EP mark, which stands for exhaust peak. So if the dial indicator moves that way dropping down so going backwards it means that it is not at peak yet and I'm almost certain it's not at peak yet which means that it would be delayed and I'm going to rotate the engine in the correct direction if it stays where it is and then it then it moves forwards that means that it's coming back up and you're gaining out and you're it's compressing because yeah moves up that way and I just uh, bring that into zero so yeah this is a pretty foolproof check on uh, whether or not the cam timing is out and we'll see if I'm wasting my time all right it's at zero here goes nothing it moves forwards, we're at peak. If it moves backwards, we're not at peak yet.
Uh, okay, so that I guess that I guess it was at peak. All right, I could have swore that it wasn't yet. So this should be the So that should be right about on the exhaust peak mark. Let me check in here. So maybe this all was for nothing. I'm gonna see if I can see the exhaust peak mark. Might be in time, which is unfortunate because I was hoping that my timing would be out for some free power. Hmm. I don't even see the timing mark on here. Alright, that's before the peak. Can you grab this, Serena? Yeah. Okay, I can see the timing mark. Keep pulling it forward. A little yeah. bit. That's a good speed. Now. Uh, yeah. It looks like it. It looks like it's on time. Actually, no. Just a hint late. Not really that much. Well, I've got it apart. Well, I'm going to go back and set up the exhaust peak on the wheel on the on the uh, sprocket the chain wheel the way the manual tells you to all right so i'm going to uh measure this properly using the chain wheel and the dial indicator so i'll get back to you when i'm done with that Fair enough. all right so using the dial indicator and uh marks on the cam chain wheel which is this part here i found the cam and the chain wheel, there by the chain wheels, uh, peak exhaust or EP, exhaust peak. And it's that mark there, which is lined up with that chain bolt. Uh, and then you see there's a mark down there and a mark over there. And then I bisected those two marks. And right now the crank is set at exhaust peak. And I don't know if, how well you can see, but the cam exhaust peak is about a half a tooth late from the crank, so where it's supposed to be. So either I've got to retime this chain, which is stretched, and I've got I've got plenty of uh, I've got I've only used uh, one, two, three teeth out of six on that, so I've got plenty of space. But I've also got the newer chain off of the spare engine that I could always fit. So that's kind of where I'm at now. Not sure what I want to do. Haven't decided. Yeah, that's definitely enough to lower my performance. So I'm going to go pull the chain off of the other one and, and kind of see how. And I might as well I've got to take this chain off anyways to retime it. So I might as well pull the chain off the other engine and stick it on here because that would be the easiest solution. Not sure. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at now. All right, so these are the two timing chains off of the my current engine and then that's off of my spare engine. It's kind of interesting that there are dimples in the chain and this one is not. This one also, I believe, says Reynolds in Eng Reynold, England or something to that effect. I decided neither, well, I tried test fitted the other chain, the newer chain, the one with less miles on it, and it was still out of whack far enough. But uh, I'm just going to retime for my original chain, and uh, next big shipment of parts I get, I'll just order a brand new chain. And slap that in there eventually. Um, yeah, so I went ahead 
and I measure and I took a pair I need a, it to be offset by one tooth or half a tooth rather there's my dividers so what I did was before I pull this off completely that is the keyway that was used and what I discovered is that this and if you look at it, if you run the dividers across the center, you can see that that keyway lines up with the open gap. So I need, which is easy, uh, fortuitous, because that means I just got to find the one that is on a tooth. And it'll line up properly. So I went that one, I believe that is like a quarter tooth behind. And this one's like a tw quarter tooth ahead. That one is, that one actually, that one's like just a snit under. But what I found after checking several times, oh wait, now I'm doubting myself. Huh, okay, maybe it should be this one. I don't know. Well, I'll figure it out. I'll try a couple different ones and we'll see exactly how she lines up. So I've got it pulled most of the way off. I should be able to pull it off completely and we'll go from there. Alright, I got lucky. First try. It's back on and just ever so slightly tight. If anything maybe going to be advanced by just ever so slightly it'll be miles better than where it used to be and as the chain wears a little bit more it'll actually come into better timing and and then it'll before it goes out again so I'm pleased with that time to start buttoning this thing back up well I double check that the uh, well I can't really double check that without moving everything but yeah I'm going to reassemble this, uh, throw the uh, tensioner back in, and uh, double check that the timing is right. Yeah, there's that done. And this is the old chain too. Alright, so it's one o'clock in the morning, and I'm getting pretty tired. Got the front cover back on, uh, everything's bolted up, night tightened down, and uh, uh, tightened buttoned up in the front there anyways uh, the crankshaft pulley you're supposed to tighten that uh, nut on the end the drive dog to uh, I think it's a hundred foot-pounds I basically just put the transmission in gear fourth gear uh, that way I've got the most disadvantage towards the engine and pulled on it with the breaker bar until I heard the clutch springs start squeaking away called that good enough so, got the lock tab on that. I guess I could put the generator thing back on. Dynamo generator, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I'm getting pretty tired. And I've been considering tearing apart the rest of the front end and painting some stuff. Try and get it ready for winter. Get some of this uh, rust off of there. See, I oiled that already just the top not the bottom but yeah I think I might just do that hit everything with a cup wire wheel and then spray paint it black so don't think I'm gonna put the radiator back in just yet uh, rocker cover I need to put on I dropped one of the nuts off of it so that's on the ground somewhere I also want to clean up the grounds off of the battery. I need a new battery lead. It looks like it's got a crack in it. So, well, That's all on the to-do list. and I'm getting tired. and So I think I'll just put the rocker cover back on. And uh, with the coolant, I think I'll put it inside the back of my car. Uh, even though I might replace it, I might not. It's sort of green. It's also very dirty. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I haven't decided. Oh yeah, I've got three oil pan bolts to put back in. So yeah, that's where I'm at now. 
getting dark. Or it is dark. It's getting late. Or early. I don't know. Now I've got stuff to do tomorrow. So I'll update you tomorrow or whenever I get back to work on this. Maybe I was seeing some of the tent slack in there. I'm going to measure this properly. Don't put it on my face. That's going to get edited out. 